we're just about to sing a song in which we declare our worship, our praise to Yahweh. And I want you to engage with understanding. I want you to understand what Yahweh means to us here tonight. There are at least 270 names for God in the Bible. He is so glorious, so enormous. And every one of those names reveals some facet about his life and his character. One commonly used name is El or Elohim. We find that in El Shaddai, God Almighty. We find it in Bethel, the house of God. We find it in Emmanuel, God with us. But Yahweh is different. Yahweh is much more personal. It's often translated Lord. And it's used when God made humanity. It's used when Abraham climbed Mount Moriah, the place where eventually the temple was built and the area in which our Lord Jesus Christ died. It was used as he set up the mountain in order to worship God. The first time worship is used, the word worship. And God provides a sacrifice and reveals himself as Yahweh. We often think of it as Jehovah. That is the Latin name for Yahweh. We find it in words like hallelujah, which means to celebrate God, our Lord. But the revelation reaches its culmination in Exodus chapter 3, when God reveals himself to his people. And he says, I am that I am. He is the eternal self-existing one. I will be what I will be. He was declaring his covenant and his reality to his people. He says in Hebrews, in uh, Exodus chapter 6, he says, up until this moment, you have not really understood. I revealed myself to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob as God Almighty, El Shaddai. But now I am revealing myself to you as your covenant keeping God. A God who is what you need him to be in your life situation. And then throughout the scriptures, that name, Jehovah, Yahweh, is revealed. He is Jehovah Tzidkenu, the Lord our righteousness. He is Jehovah Makedesh, the Lord, our holiness. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord, our peace. Jehovah Ra, the Lord, our shepherd. Jehovah Shammah, the Lord who is there. He is our covenant-keeping God, the Lord of His people. He is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, our provider. And then, Jesus Christ comes to earth. The name Jesus means Savior. The name Christ means Anointed One. He was the Messiah for which the world, for whom the world waited. But he wasn't just Jesus Christ. He was the Lord Jesus Christ. And in John chapter 8, when they were asking him where he had come from, he said this, Before Abraham was, I am. He was declaring to them that he was Jehovah God. No wonder they took up stones to kill him, because he was proclaiming that he was the covenant-keeping God of his people. And tonight, he is the Lord 
who heals you. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is the Lord who is here. He is the Lord your provider. And I want you right around this auditorium to raise your hands to heaven because He is Yahweh. He is here. He is the Lord Jesus Christ. And He wants to reveal Himself to you as your Lord, as your champion, as your shepherd. Let's raise our voice and raise our hands and worship Him.